ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by a few weeks back we got word that with season three we are going to see a pretty significant sniper meta change with all the weapon tuning that's going to take place this is essentially raven saying we're likely going to see some major changes to the swiss and the car the two dominant snipers in warzone up until this point so that got me thinking what could potentially be replacing that and curiously enough there's a sniper in the game right now that is just as good as the car in the swiss that likely won't see many changes just because it's not used a ton it's not really considered meta and today i wanted to break down what that sniper is and how it's probably going to affect the next sniper meta post season three as we go through everything today if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with all things going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button turn on those post notifications that way you can always guarantee you are up to date so the problem with snipers versus other guns in the game is that we can't really use a chart like what true game data has to look at which sniper is the absolute best now obviously if we have certain snipers here the swiss the car then the spr spoiler alert is the sniper that i want to focus on today you can look at this and say okay the spr builds they have a better ttk than the swiss or with the car but it really just comes down to where you're landing your shots this is not really a good way to represent which sniper is actually better i feel like the better way to compare these snipers is to actually go ahead and look at their base stats uh both with like the damage that they're dealing but then also all these other stats as well ads time fire rate so on and so forth so shout out to true game data he's got all the base stats logged for these snipers we're looking at a couple of them here the spr the car 98k the vanguard car i wanted to throw in there as well then of course the swiss and we can see here the comparisons between these they're all relatively similar right like obviously they're all one shots to the head this says 250 but that's still a one shot in either mode rebirth or uh you know core battle royale base battle royale where it's 300 health obviously all these snipers are going to one shot to the head the big differences are in the rest of the damage values and then also some of the ranges as well you'll notice like most of these cold war and modern warfare snipers the spr the car 98k their damage values are the same through the first 100 meters and then beyond 100 meters as well but with the Vanguard car, you'll actually see there's some differences there. It actually drops off over 100 meters, which makes the Vanguard car worse at range, hence why it's not really a super great meta sniper as is. The rest of these, though, are just differences in damage values. Obviously, the SPR has really good damage to all parts of the body here. Obviously, in Core Battle Royale, it'll be a two-shot if you hit a neck shot and a chest shot. It'll be uh, actually a four-shot if you hit, say, just straight leg shots or straight arm shots. If you hit three extremities, you won't be able to kill a player in Caldera, but you would be able to on Rebirth. If you hit, let's say, a neck shot and then a leg shot, it still require three shots to kill. But overall, the SPR is really good. And you can go through and like look at the shots to kill for each of these and with that 300 health if you're hitting any extremity it's a lot of the time going to take an extra shot to kill uh just because with that 300 health now you can't always get that like you would before with some of these other snipers where it'd be three straight shots to the upper leg would kill a player in rebirth or in previously in battle royale where there wasn't that 300 health update we sort of see how that changes things there but that's sort of only based around hitting three smaller parts of the body that you're probably not going to be hitting very frequently right but regardless i do feel like it's important to look at these stats because that's one way to determine is there an outstanding sniper here and because these are all so similar the spr even with some other magazines on there like the norma mags for instance they're all like neck and neck right they're they're so close in damage values that this alone i don't feel like sets one apart from all the rest so with that being the case we turn back to true game data to look at the rest of the stats and this can help us determine what's going to change here now keep in mind what raven said before they have noticed that the sniper meta has not changed in a long time that to me is just saying clearly the swiss and the car are not going to be the top meta options anymore other guns are going to fill that gap they're likely going to buff other guns like the vanguard car for instance to make them better and more competitive but the spr here is kind of the sleeper because there's two builds that are pretty good we've got one that's got monolithic suppressor the 26 inch barrel the norma mag which gives you better velocity basically uh the tac laser for a better ads and then the solo zero optic that's basically like your standard sniper scope and then another build that's monolithic suppressor 26 inch barrel tac laser uh the blitz stock instead of the norma mag so just the standard magazine and then the sniper scope yet again the norma mag is the second row here the standard magazine is the third row here we obviously have our other two uh snipers on here as well and when you look at these stats and break these down 
This to me really tells the story, both in terms of what's good right now, but also what's going to be very good in the future when we potentially see some changes to the Swiss and to the cars. So ADS, the car is clearly the most aggressive, but surprisingly, the SPR with the standard magazine is very good as well. It's like right there with the Swiss. The normal mags do slow down the SPR a little bit uh, more than these others, but even 469, nice is not terrible it's just going to be slightly slower than the swiss but that's not a huge difference the car does win though in that regard fire rate is given to the spr but that's not a huge factor either it's a small one but it's like it's not game breaking game changing you know uh the base range here kind of weird just because of how it's drawn out obviously we saw the the quick little ttk chart there they don't really have drop offs it's just a continuous drop so that doesn't matter too much the velocity here is a big one you can see the norma mags actually give this SPR an insane velocity better than the other options here. The standard mag on the SPR though gives it the worst velocity here. So this is where you try to balance out which SPR build is the best. Are you going for one that's got insane velocity but a much slower ADS speed? So that would be obviously like very good for long range sniping. Or do you go for one that's got a decent velocity and a much better ADS speed than the other version of the build but still a little bit slower than the Swiss or the car with that standard magazine? That's where it really comes down to what you value more. Are you long range sniping a ton? You probably want to go for the normal mag because ADS in super long range fights, you know, 110 meters, 120 meters beyond, that's not going to be as important as, you know, maybe 80 meters, 70 meters, where 940 velocity is still going to be enough to get the job done, but you're going to have a slightly better ADS. That's where it comes into your play style, and that's how you want to base your build. Uh, I would say personally. These other stats are so close, I don't feel like they make a huge difference. The ADS movement speed is pretty bad with the normal mags, but again, for long range sniping, you're not gonna be moving that much and that's not gonna be drastically beneficial in a fight like that. Everything else is about the same sprint to fire and that stuff doesn't really matter too much on snipers. The reload time I do feel like is semi-important. The SPR does have the fastest reload. Obviously, the cars is awful because you got a single chamber each, each one of those uh, bullets. The Swiss is pretty good, but like I said, the SPR is the fastest regardless of the magazine you're using. This to me though shows that once we see changes to the Swiss and to the car, if the SPR doesn't get nerfs, which it has no reason to get nerfs, it's really going to shine as sort of that sleeper sniper that should be meta if players catch on to the build that works the best for them. Players who snipe long range might try out the base build here with no normal mags and say, yeah, this velocity just doesn't feel good. It's not a good sniper. Players who are aggressive snipers and like to use the car, for instance, try out the normal build Swiss and they're like, wow, this ADS sucks. It doesn't feel that great. They might not think it's good. So it is very playstyle dependent here on which of these setups you want to use, but Clearly, the SPR is capable of competing with these other meta snipers right now, and even more so in the future once we see this meta update for snipers in particular with Season 3. I fully expect the SPR's usage rate to almost skyrocket in a sense, pending they don't break something like the Vanguard car or the three line to just a stupid level, right? So that said, the sniper meta is going to be very interesting come season three, but that's going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, every day I got you covered with all things going on in COD, news, updates, loadouts, tips, you'll find it all right here. So feel free to subscribe with those notifications turned on. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.